So. But first, I would very much like to thank your uh, rector, Kapitonabo uh, Erkomashvili, and also thank all of you for giving us this opportunity to talk to you a little bit about what democracy means to the United States what we see here in Georgia today, and what we're doing to help the people of Georgia achieve your goal of perfecting your democracy. I'm glad especially to be speaking here in Rustavi, and most importantly to be speaking here to all of you. Because, in fact, you, all of you in this audience today, are the future of Georgian democracy. And you're the ones who will benefit the most from the success of Georgian democracy. Now, whether or not you have an opportunity in two weeks to cast your vote, maybe for the first time, maybe for the second or third time, but even if you don't have an opportunity to cast a vote this time because you're too young, you still have a very important role to play in the democratic development of this nation. Georgia today is embarked on a great experiment. You and your fellow citizens are working hard to overcome the terrible legacy of 70 years of totalitarian rule from a distant capital and decades of conflict. 20% of your territory is occupied by Russian troops. Hundreds of thousands of your fellow citizens cannot go home at this time. But even with those obstacles and that legacy, the citizens of this country and your government continue to work hard to strengthen your young democracy, to build the habits and the culture of democracy. I commend you, all of you, on that choice because we believe democracies that respect individual rights and personal liberty create stability and economic opportunity for all citizens. And you have made remarkable progress in a very short period of time, especially when one looks at the conditions of democracy in the rest of the former Soviet Union. Now, these upcoming local elections are an important part of the process of continuing to grow your democracy. And that actually, that word is my first point today. Democracy, true democracy, is a process. It's not perfect, it's often frustrating, and it takes time. It takes a deep commitment to see the changes you are making through to their logical conclusions. And I'm not just referring here to a deep commitment by the government. I'm talking about the obligations of the citizenry, of all of you, to ensure that your democratic processes and habits and culture take root. And I use the word obligation for a reason. Because democracy is not simply a choice that magically happens. It's a system of governance. And it's a system that imposes obligations on all elements of society. First and foremost, that obligation rests with the government of Georgia. The government has obligations to all of the people of Georgia. The opposition, those in opposition to the government, have an obligation to act constructively. The press, the media, has an obligation to inform all of you so you can make good decisions. Civil society, non-governmental organizations, have obligations to advocate and analyze and represent the interests of broader communities. 
But most importantly, all of you, the people of Georgia, have the obligation to take an active role to ensure that your country becomes a stable, mature democracy. Without active participation by the people, by all of you, no true democracy can function, nor can it endure. As one of the founders of our own democracy, Thomas Jefferson, once said, if a nation expects to be both ignorant and free, it expects what never was and never will be. Less than a year ago, speaking to your parliament, Vice President Biden described the work remaining to fully realize the promise of the Rose Revolution by all segments of Georgian society. Let's start first with the government. I think it's important that we all recognize that your government has made tremendous progress since the Rose Revolution. But I think it's also important to remember that the government has committed to doing much more to ensure the courts are free from outside influence, to increase transparency in government decision-making so that all of you are aware of what your government is doing and why, and to resolve key constitutional issues regarding the balance of power between the executive and legislative branches. Your government has committed to these reforms. Now, I'm often asked about democratic development here in Georgia and how we assess its progress as the United States Embassy. Let me answer that question today this way. We would like to see the Georgian government pursue in determined fashion its obligations the commitments it has already made to itself and to its people to increase transparency, to ensure more checks and balances on government action, and to its increase its accountability to the voters who elected it. Those are all important obligations. They're commitments that have already been made, and we look forward to them being realized by this government. Strong democracy must also enable those who disagree with it, disagree with the government, to do so without pressure, without threats, or without retribution. Especially...